This is an ultrasound guided lumbar plexus block on a patient with a history of chronic pain, total hip arthroplasty, who sustained a ground level fall and periprosthetic fracture. Our approach to this block is very similar to the anterior quadratus symborum block. We'll start with the patient in the lateral decubitus position with the non-fractured side down for patient comfort and place a curvilinear probe on the posterior midline. Here we can identify the spinous process. We'll move the probe laterally and tilt back towards the neural axis to identify the transverse process. And here we see the quadratus lumborum muscle attaching to the transverse process with the psoas muscle more anteriorly. Just as we would with a anterior quadratus lumborum block, we're going to then fan our probe either cephalet or caudad to move the transverse process out of our needle trajectory. I personally rarely use nerve stimulation with ultrasound guided blocks. However, the lumbar plexus block is an exception to this because we're going to need nerve stem to identify the quadriceps twitch. We'll connect our block needle to the nerve stimulator, set the amplitude to about 1.5 milliamps and advance in a posterior medial to anterior lateral direction. As we approach the lumbar plexus within the body of the psoas muscle, we'll begin to obtain twitches of the quadriceps muscle. Once twitches of the quadriceps muscle are seen, we'll lower the current somewhere between half a milliamp and one milliamp to obtain stimulation. The lumbar plexus travels through a fascial plane within the psoas muscle, and we can see this with our injection of local anesthetic. So rather than looking like a shreddy intramuscular injection, we see an unzippering of this fascial plane. We injected 30 mLs of bupivacaine quarter percent with epinephrine 1 in 400,000 and decadron preservative free 4 mg. Intraoperatively, no opioids were required. Postoperatively, the patient was placed on their home opioid regimen and no additional opioids were required beyond this for the duration of the block, which was 20 hours. 